This is my 25th year here. I've got 22 this year. That's my highest enrollment for the last four or five years. I usually run, <clears throat> I'd say 13, 15, 17. This year I've got 22. I usually start the day off uh, after our morning devotion. We sing a little something most of the time. And sometimes if the kids, especially the smaller ones that have a little experience home, we take a few minutes to let them talk about it. Maybe they got a new pair of shoes they want to share, or maybe they've had a birthday, or maybe their sister got married. And first thing in the morning, vice praise, and the kids are alert. <laughs> About 18. I did, Keep them. Keep them. Call three, I call that. Then, I usually give the first grade some seat work, first thing. Maybe some little math problems, or let them make numbers, or ABCs, or study the phonic charts. And, well, get all the little ones straightened out. I'd say that takes about an hour, and then I have the start the, I usually have the upper grades first so then they can study their lesson and help the smaller ones. Prefixes, uh, beginning of a word, suffix is still at the end of a word, all right, and we got mit is a prefix, well I had a prefix to mit, that's a, have what? Commit. Commit. Admit. Admit. Wait now. Omit and All right. All right. Transmit. Right. You transmit radio waves you send out. A company. To go on with it. Right, go on with it. Here on a mother on a trip. All right. Let's look up here at the top now. We talking about prefix and suffix. Prefix is civil that comes at the beginning of the word and it changes the meaning. Suffix comes at the end of the word and it also changes meaning. Let's look at some uh, prefixes. We can use these words like able is unable, unable and uh, disabled. disabled. You're not able to do anything. Easily. Easily. Uneasily. Uneasily. Approve. Approve. Disapprove and unapprove. Uneven. 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 Yes, sir, that was my ambition, I think, when I was going to school. I, I thought about that a lot, come back and teach right here. I always wanted to... I didn't care about teaching anywhere else much. I wanted to come back and teach here. But I thought through all the experience I had, and I had it rough, that I could come back and tell these kids something, and, and maybe if they were interested, I might could teach them a little something, or I, I, I would try. I don't know where I would teach anywhere else or not. I don't know what I would do. I mean, I've been used to just going from lower grades, the upper grades, the middle grades throughout the day and just putting me in one grade. I, I don't know. I'd like to spend the rest of my time in a one-room school. It's I just seem like I've got a, a knack and I, I like it. And, and I'm too old to change, I think. Giggle. What would be a synonym for giggle? Laugh. Laugh or not too much lay, but if you giggle, <laughs> girls giggles and boys usually do what? Chuckle. <laughs> yeah. 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 Where else could you go if you weren't going here? Daddy, where are you going? Yeah, I'm going to go to camp. You can't go nowhere to camp. Go to camp. Quit. And then why you get out of here? How come you don't want to go to camp? We don't know why. You know why? Who's there? Why? You know why I didn't go to camp? Why? Creepy. I told my mom it would be in trailer and they put me in trailer and I got in third grade. Why? We don't get out of here. We get out earlier. It's not time we take you home early. It takes you home early. How does it get to do that? I don't know. It turns out early. Let's go down, we go home. And just any time you want to, you go home. Why? Not Not any. Any. Oh. 
Not, you know, tell me, tell me more about what you do. <laughs> what do you, what do you do all day long? I play and buddy. Now these kids that I've got from Consolidated Schools, and there's many more of them once they come up there, just don't have the room, don't have a way to haul them. And they seem to enjoy school a lot more. Now I know I've had some that almost were dropouts. Now they come every day. So they they something other that they like. Well, I just let them kindly go freely through the day. what's called a hot lunch program. The county furnish it or the government and it's in cans, all we do is just heat it up and they all eat most of the time. First time girls ever done any kitchen work this year. 
Jasper always let the boys fix it. They never did complain. They Well, the girls don't complain, but they don't take much interest, you know. And I don't blame them much, really. It's a pretty good job going to fix that lunch every day. Uh, they get milk, they get meat, get all kinds of vitamin things, proteins. Whereas most of them only broke about a couple sandwiches, bologna and things like that, cold, you know. And then, as I said, a lot of them didn't have any breakfast, so I think they do get, I think they get one good meal. I think we have good stuff to eat. It might not be prepared the best there was, but I think it's good. At least they're getting a half a pound of milk, and about every day or two we have some kind of fruit, peaches or pineapple. I think that's not much better, really. In a one-room school, if you play a game, they all play it. Now, in a consolidation, just a few most time plays the game. Like basketball, and they pick the best 10 or 15, that's it, you know. But I was talking the other night, I was talking to several boys that had gone to school and out now, some of them the Indian years, and uh, every one of them seemed to have that opinion that uh, they wouldn't have missed this little school uh, since they had gone, then give it up for any other grade school. Well, they learned something here that they said that they doubt if they'd learned that they'd gone to a bigger school. Back then, when you had activities, everybody got into it. And that was one thing they, I think they remember. If we went on a ball game, the whole school went. You know, because there wasn't too many while we could take them. kids a lot of time will learn from the larger kids. In fact, I've got some second and third graders that we teach social subjects. They'll answer questions a lot of time, even the larger ones don't, because they, they listen more. They know what's going on. They're pretty alert. And if you're not pressured and feel free, I think you feel like learning more. There's a, there's a better learning atmosphere. How you change something with this? Well, I usually teach by levels. I like to have three levels. Maybe I'll teach uh, second and half of second, third, and fourth on the same level, like, uh, for instance, drills and math, you know, and maybe social subjects. Or maybe teach the certain subjects like fourth, fifth, and sixth together. And I think that's the only way you can do it. Well, you couldn't possibly teach eight grades without teaching levels, and you just wouldn't have the time. You didn't drop that. So you had to put this all down in three also, so you didn't sit back on it. Well, you're supposed to be hard. You're supposed to be That's right. Follow that the next one. Six and four. Five and four. Five and four. Six and six. Now, how do you change four percent to a decimal? Move it what? Two places. All right, let's see you change 4% to a decimal. You have that as zero, don't you? Yeah, I All right, that is zero coming back. Oh, no, not the other side. Oh, well, like this. Two places to the left. Oh, maybe it's the All right, put down 16 times 400. What do you get? Change that to a decimal. Please? Yeah, 400. 
see it when you leave your point out, your problem is wrong. And it's like putting on your shoe, leaving your socks off. <laughs> First, far out in the country. Far out in the country, way up on A. Still there lived a boy named Dick and A. Little girl named Nancy Dick was eight and eight years old, and Nancy was six. They lived on the hilltop, far from far from. How to say could look down the hill and all around and every time they they look they saw they saw many many things. To the south to the south from the front door they could see the Gas station. station that Jim's father owned. From the east window of the farm house, Dick and Nancy could see pastures with stone fences. They could see the green water of a pond shining through the trees on the other side of the pond, they could see the woods. From the west end on the second floor, they could they could look down into the top of the, a elf tree, but over the tree top, they could see the roof of and the chimney of, of the house where their friends, Mr. Banks, lived. So Dick and Nancy had many friends. The neighbors near their farmhouse on the hill. There's not enough individual teaching in a consolidated school. That, I think that's the, the whole key. I doubt in a consolidated school if a teacher ever comes down and sits beside a child and works with it. I do that frequently all throughout the day. Personally, I don't think there's any advantage too much in consolidation. That's my observation. I think where you teach levels and so on, you might not get as many subjects in, in run of a day or a week, but I think in the end, I think, personally, I, I know that my kids, if they come to high school, do just as well as they do in the bigger schools, so a child that's not going to a smaller school, one-room school, they've missed some. I, I feel that in a consolidated school, we can provide uh, other services. Uh, we have the lunchroom, uh, toilet, facilities, uh, better heat, better lighting, uh, more economically, uh, uh, it's more eco economical to the Board of Education. The philosophy of the Kentucky Department of Education at this time is toward consolidation. Uh, it has been for a number of years. As you as time goes on, then just, uh, it will become necessary, in my, uh, I believe, to consolidate these schools in order to get uh, state money for their support. Kentucky, in the eastern part of the I don't think they're ready for consolidation yet. Really, as much as they want to. But one thing, they don't have the road. They just really want to keep one one-room school. We only have two. I think that's their big reason. I think they just kind of hate to just take it away. They, they have purpose in mind, I guess. They want people to come and just to you know, see, if nothing else, just how there used to be a way back. 